Hi, I'm Becky Stern, and today I'm sharing some of my favorite things this year, electronic tools, parts, and boards that I've used and loved recently. If you're shopping for yourself or the maker in your life, these are my recommendations for great holiday gifts. Let's start with the basic tools I use every day. The DigiKey standard ergonomic wire strippers are my daily driver. They're comfortable, reliable, and they have a permanent spot on my workbench. But they're not as portable as the other style. Speaking of which, for on the go, I'm loving the DK standard electronics toolkit, which is a solid starter kit with all of the essentials you need for your projects. Pliers, cutters, tweezers, and more. If you've been following along with this series, you know I always keep these within reach. And having everything together in one portable package makes it super convenient. Another portable toolkit is making my list this year too, and that's the FixHub Portable Soldering Toolkit by iFixit. This is a premium piece of gear that rolls up everything you need to solder in a compact roll. The most expensive part is the power station, since the battery has to supply enough current to heat up the USB-C soldering iron. This is similar to a project I did a while ago, making a portable soldering station, but it's even better because the iron's cap, which also becomes the iron's stand, is insulated, which means it's safe to pack it all up while it's still hot. And while we're in the iFixit universe, I really like my Manta driver set. It's got every bit imaginable. It's perfect for electronics teardown projects and fixing gadgets around the house. But as with my fancy wire strippers, these don't leave the studio. So if you're looking for a more portable gift for removing screws, I recommend an all-in-one multi-screwdriver. And then there's the DigiKey Solderful Breadboard. It's the perfect way to turn a solderless breadboard prototype into something sturdier. And you can never have too many. I think connectors make great stocking stuffers, so be sure to check out our video on the topic for a longer list of suggestions. For instance, I had a light go down in my studio recently, and the fix was as simple as swapping in a replacement barrel jack. Having a few of these connectors on hand gave new life to my existing equipment. Another neat helper is that pogo pin adapter thing from Zach's dust collection video. It's one of those small but brilliant tools that make prototyping and testing so much easier. Splice lever connectors are another favorite of mine. They let you quickly and securely join wires without soldering. Just flip the little lever down and your wires are secure. I keep a handful in my kit because they are reusable and good for repairs and temporary setup too. If you've ever used wire nuts for household wiring, these are like a maker-friendly upgrade. I want to highlight the DF Robot Voice Recognition Board. It's a fun way to experiment with natural input. Say a command and your project listens. You might remember seeing it in Kiara's workshop, Pikachu Animatronic version one. It allows you to program in like 17 custom phrases. So I'm gonna change the wake word to Pikachu. So he'll hear me every time I talk to him. Pikachu. Yes, I'm here. Park a car. Done. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Another board I've been excited about recently is the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense revision two. The Nano 33 BLE has been one of the most popular Arduino boards, and this revision makes it even better. It has onboard motion sensors, a microphone, a gesture sensor that also works for light, proximity, and color, and environmental sensors for temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure. You can program this board in MicroPython as well as Arduino. This board is a great way to explore TinyML and Edge AI with platforms like Edge Impulse or TensorFlow Lite. You can train it to recognize gestures, movements, environmental conditions, or voice commands, all running directly on board without needing to tap into cloud services. Of course, it does all the basic stuff too, so it's definitely a good gift for anyone looking to level up the skills from this series onto more advanced projects in a small form factor. If you're ready to level up your bench, two tools stand out. A multimeter is essential for measuring continuity, resistance, and voltage. I'll walk you through exactly how to use one in a previous episode in this series. I like this basic model from Fleur X-Tech. And for powering circuits, a benchtop power supply is a level above wall wart AC adapters and batteries. You can dial in the exact voltage and current your project needs, even if that changes during your build process. So those are some of my favorite things this year. Tools, parts, and boards that I keep coming back to in my own work. These picks are sure to make great gifts. 
I've put links to all the products I mentioned in the description. If you've got your own must-have maker's tools or favorite parts, let us know in the comments so we can all learn together. Thanks so much for watching, happy holidays, and subscribe to be sure you don't miss the next one.